Hey man, you can stay in your car. You can stay in the car, man. You can have a seat. What? Have a seat. So I'm stopping you for going 50 miles an hour to 25. What are you talking about? So I need you to sit down. I think you're messing with me. A driver stopped for allegedly going twice the speed limit on Richmond's Main Street. The stop quickly escalating, turning violent. You're watching 8 News at 11. I'm Deanna Albritton. I'm Eric Phillips. Tonight, VC VCU police defending the officer's use of force. 8 News reporter Roland Wilson has been taking a closer look at that body cam video. She joins us live now from VCU with student reaction. Roland, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, Eric Deanna, there were definitely mixed reactions from students here at VCU, but one common message that they shared with me, they say VCU could do a better job at communicating with students and police could better de-escalate situations like this. VCU students and police speaking out tonight after watching this body cam footage showing a traffic stop on Sunday morning that quickly escalated. Get off my gun! Get off my gun! In it, you can see a VCU police officer pulling over the suspect, later identified as 31-year-old Paul Willis IV, for going 50 in a 25-mile-per-hour zone. That's when Willis is seen exiting his car, and the two share this initial reaction while the officer grabs Willis by the arm. So I'm stopping you for going 50 miles an hour to 25. Here is where things take a turn. I think you're messing with me. So, no, I'm not. I'm not I think I need you're messing with me. I'm I think not. you're messing no, with me. No, you need no, to sit down. No, have no, a seat. Have I a seat. You're, you're okay. The officer then asks Willis to sit back in the car, and he doesn't. Have, have a seat. Have a seat. Why are you seat. grabbing me? Have a seat now. Why are you grabbing me? Have a seat. Not, have a seat or turn I, around. I haven't done anything. Okay. 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 That's when the officer says Willis tried reaching for his gun, and the two can be seen going back and forth until Willis is handcuffed. Sit down. Sit down. He's trying to grab my gun. He's trying to grab my gun. Tonight, I spoke with students after showing them the new video for the first time. Being told to sit down, being told to relax. It's, I know it's hard to relax with, the, with what's going on with cops, but she should have sat down at least and definitely not reached for the gun. I guess I just noticed like um, when he grabbed his arm at first, that was, that seemed kind of unnecessary. A spokesperson from the division released this statement saying in part, as the officer approached the car, Paul Willis IV exited the vehicle and failed to follow the instructions of the officer. The officer immediately advised Willis of the reason for the stop and instructed the driver to get back into his car. According to police, both Willis and the officer were taken to a local hospital for minor injuries. While Willis does not have ties to the university, students say they hope VCU will improve communication about incidents like this with its own police. I'm surprised VCU didn't email us about that. Yeah, they don't email us about everything. I like haven't heard anything about this. Now, according to police, Willis is being held on bond and may face additional charges. Now, this is an ongoing investigation, so stick with 8 News for the latest. Reporting live at VCU tonight, Roland Wilson, 8 News.